Let's see, Capricorn, I'm trying to decide which two are green and which ones are red. Let's see, I'm trying to see my cards. I'm going to mute my phone right now. So here we are again. Um, so Capricorn, what would you like Capricorn? Angels, spirits, universe. What would you like Capricorn to know about the week of the 27th of December for Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn? Energies for Capricorn for the week of the 27th. Ooh, there's a lot of cards here. They wanted to come out for you, Capricorn. Let's have a look. So... Okay, we've got the strength, what's on the bottom of the deck here? We've got justice on the bottom of the deck. Could be something legal goes in your favour this week, Capricorn. Um, courageous, you're really strong, you're getting a grip on things, you are getting out of your confine, you feel quite, you're, you're just holding on to your foundation really, and um, you... It's kind of like you're guarding your heart. You're getting, you're using your heart at the same time because the Leo, the strength, it's like I'm, I'm going to expand into the world, and but also at the same time you're holding down your fort, your your foundation, your home. Your uh, you've just got enough to pay the rent and that's fine. It's you feel strong in this position. Um, you might be guarding your heart, not letting go of old principles. Um, and you may have a row with someone or a, a, a total termination of something this week um, where someone narcissistically comes and says something unkind and you say something unkind back. Um, you feel in your element with this queen of, of coin, you're just guarding the fort, you're holding the fort. You know, I'll wait, thanks. I've got some money. I've got my grapes. I feel sexy. It's just that I also feel very stabbed in the back and imprisoned. Kind of. I'm just trying to get off the table. Um, so you're feeling like you're being gossiped about, stabbed in the back. Um, there's the lovers here. Someone's making a decision in love about you, Capricorn. Um, And they want to reciprocate some kind of energy and be charitable towards you. It kind of, when you end with this person, it's like, I've got to be on my own. I've got to keep everything together. I've, I've got to earn the coin. I've got to be the sexy one. And it's making me feel depressed, really. I mean, having to hold the fort the whole time and be the strong one is actually getting you escalating from this termination where something ends. You wish you wish you hadn't said what you said to the, this depression and so you are deciding or there's a gemini here deciding to reciprocate some energy towards you um and offer some kind of companion uh, or uh, contract within work there's a team here that has your back they just want to um there's a lot of sharing energy going on in this team there's a counsellor, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio King of Cups here, who's ready to express their love, who's ready to help. Um, it's just that when you think it's safe to go back in the water to express yourself emotionally, um, something blows up and someone flies in wanting passion, drink, drugs, rock and roll. Uh, they could be a Sagittarius or you want fun with this person. They... There is an emperor here with the home, with the union. There's a divine love here, possibly an Aries. They're rushing towards you. You have a victory over this love. You have a victory, a yin and a yang balance. It could be a cancer card, cancer person rushing into the home. Um, it's like fun wants to come in. The emperor wants to oversee things and be dominant in the house and offer this divine love you're having victory in in travel and movement towards this this home or this love um but this queen of swords here is speaking her truth up here she's saying what i say goes this could be you being very cold to the warmth of relationship saying i'm on my path i'm i've got victory over my home my family this divine love um but there needs to be a truth told. I'm cold to this. This. It's like someone speaks the truth. You travel 
to the home or this empress here, a father figure, the number four, an Aries. They oversee their empire. Someone's traveling very fast towards you, but you need to speak some home truth or someone's going to be very cold towards you when you travel or to the home where you go. Or you're going to be cold to this emperor when they come to your house. Um, there's some kind of contract being signed. Someone wants to offer their emotional self, their musical self for the, 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 the counsellor card. He plays music. It's very kind. But just when you think it's safe to go back in the water, someone's drama comes up. Could be this Knight of Wands flies in to offer fun. And you need the emperor, you need the union, the divine love. And it's it's balanced, it's a victory over this divine love. It's just this queen of swords up here, she might say, she might be very cold. Um, maybe because you want to travel, there's something to do with traveling. Um, let's ask the angels, romance angels. What you'd like Capricorn to know about the week of the 27th of December, the week of the 27th of December to Capricorn. All right, I'm going to take the bottom three cards there, so we've got four. So we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You deserve love. You are lovable. And then we've got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Ooh. See, there's a chemistry with someone here. They, they want to, you want to express your love. They want to express their love. You do, and you know you deserve love. But I'm, I'm not sure whether you're going to fancy this person enough um, when they come rushing at you. You do get some kind of victory over the home or this union or this emperor comes in. And maybe it's the night that you don't want, the young energy you don't want. Or, or it's the young energy you do want and not the emperor energy. There's a contract in work or some kind of home. Um, yeah, a lot going on this week. So you're strong, you're getting out, you're confined. You are holding the fort a, a lot. You're trying to keep it all together. Um, and you're sick of it. You, you're just, okay, shh, 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 shh. Uh, you're sick of doing that. Someone wants to come in and reciprocate some energy into some kind of contract and express their love for you. Um, you do might take on someone else's drama this week. They might have a vice, drink, drugs and rock and roll. Um, the emperor also up here at the end of the week wants to come to the home. There's a victory over, over this house or this love. Um, you're travelling or they're really rushing into you and... Um, you some there's a queen up here that's not feeling it she's she's speaking a lot of truth and she's cold to any warm relationship could be gemini scorpio pisces let me let me try and get this dog down because it's going to leave the candles here um come on go 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 um, so I'm going to shuffle the angel cards for you, Capricorn. Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Capricorn to know? I'm frightened the battery's going to go again. Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Capricorn to know? It's not the battery, it's storage. Angels, for the 27th of December, we have you, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. Yes. You're healing from something. Angels. I'll take the bottom three. We've got, there's nothing to worry about. You are safe. And this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and our universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. Change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart in love and your, our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcome you desire. So it's this, your emotions healing, you're getting protection from whatever's ended or terminating. You're getting this healing from it and someone wants to come in and reciprocate. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. 
Okay, there could be some reconciliation. It doesn't say reconciliation. It means you're, I think you're healing towards something greater. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Have we done this? Yeah, we have done them. They were. Let me pull two more angel romance cards for Capricorn. Capricorn. Angels. Capricorn. I shouldn't have pulled the cards so quickly up because of Angels. Capricorn for the week of the 27th. Passion. Ooh. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Wedding. This situation involves a marriage. I think there's greater love coming. You're healing from an ending of something and someone's rushing in to offer emotional things. There's a contract being signed. It could be a party at a house that you meet this, this, this water sign at. Dramas come up. There might be some kind of person who wants to come in and have this, who's got advice. But there's this emperor here who's showing this divine union, this ten of cups in the home. And you're able to travel with this person. They're traveling towards you or you toward them. There's a victory with this emperor. Queen of Wands might be just speaking her truth, might be just saying, this is how the land lies. This is how it's going to be. So you're opening and you're healing so that you can change direction toward a greater love. And it involves wedding um, and passion. Take care of yourself, uh, Capricorn. It's a good week. Um, don't get too down with this Ten of Swords. There's someone coming in to offer something. Um, yeah, so I'll speak to you soon. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.